in front of just hundreds of thousands of people every single day um, was, was, was again, a, such a unique experience. It Was your favorite memory for any of the high school musical mu movies? I got asked this yesterday uh, by a fan, and and it's such a difficult question because you know when we when you when you're asked about a favorite memory over the course of the high school musical movies, I mean we, we we spent years together doing you know the three different films together, doing doing world tours together, having our our lives. Turned upside down and changed in, in so many ways together. So there's a lot of memories, um, and already it's such a critical time in, in life. You know those those early young shaping years. Uh, so it's a it's a very difficult question. But of course there are moments emotionally that really stick out. You know uh, just because they 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 do carry such emotional weight. I know one for me of course was the the day that we shot the uh, final curtain coming down <laughs> uh, and that was we that, that that shot in the last movie of the curtain coming down and all of us standing there that actually was the last scene that we shot uh, because movies of course are, are shot out of order and and it actually happened to be the last thing that we shot so that emotion that you're seeing from everyone of saying it's goodbye. So real. <laughs> so real. Mo, I, Mo was a mess at the end. <laughs> we all were. We all were just falling our faces off. It was. It was definitely a, a very, a very emotional time to, to, to close the curtain on the like a, a huge part of life for all of us. Earlier, Corbin, you mentioned the High School Musical tour. Can you tell us more about this experience? Sure. Um, <clears throat> Um, we had, uh, I, I mean, I had never toured prior to that, uh, so to be able to, one, see all of the, all of our own country and to be able to go and continue to see other countries um, and to experience it through this lens of performing in front of just hundreds of thousands of people every single day um, was, was, was again, a, such a unique experience. It, I, 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 every time I, I think about anything that is High School Musical, it is, it is really crazy. There are, there are times where you, you just, no matter how amazing it is, there are times you just don't feel like performing because you're exhausted. <laughs> uh, or, or you're going through something personal, and, and especially when you're, when you're performing uh, a project like a High School Musical that is this happy, positive, joy machine, there are times where you don't necessarily, you're not feeling in a joyful moment and you still need to, to project that. Uh, so you, you, you find it, you, you do what you can to find it. And, and I, I, I found that, you know, my, my, my Broadway career thus since has, has uh, there are times, there are things that I look back to and there, there are lessons that I've learned just from being on, on tour during high school musical set that has uh, allowed me to, to know it, the show goes on. Well, thank you very much for sharing that. Um, yeah. Next question is, uh, out of all the musical numbers in High School Musical, which one was your favorite one? The, the boys are back. I, that, that's actually what I was going to say. <laughs> um, I just because it, it, it's, it's one of the coolest numbers. Like, I, it, was, it was just that the choreography was, was, was Chucky's choreography was just so intense, so um, it was just so cool, and and then and it was all it was also the first time that I ever had somebody play me younger, and it was like it was such a um, a leveling up moment for me. It was such like a rite of passage to have someone play you younger, because I've always because I I've, I've grown up in the in the industry and I've been doing this since I was seven two, so I've always I've had many times where I've played other actors in their younger years and to finally have someone play younger it was, a, it was such a, 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 a cool growth moment for me. Um, I, don't, I don't think this is, I don't think this is, you know, major news for anyone. I know it's been out there before, but I, they, you know, when during the audition,
audition process, they they had auditioned us to make sure that we could do everything. You know, they wanted they, we had to go in and we had to do a scene, and then we had to go in and and, and read for Kenny Ortega, and then we had to go in and sing, and then we had to go in and dance, um, and we had uh, um, you know uh, uh, they paired us up together. You know, Monique and I actually got in and, and read together, uh, and then and then they also wanted to make sure that we could play basketball, and by some grace of God. The ball just happened to work for me that day. I don't know how, but we showed up on set, uh, and we actually had a, a real basketball coach. And, and part of our training, you know, in, in the weeks leading up to filming, we would go in when we learned choreography, we would rehearse, and then we would also go in and have real, you know, basketball training uh, and just run drills. And that first day of training, they looked at me and were like, we're in trouble. Corbin, in the last question, you mentioned Saki for the choreography, and we were wondering how was this to work with him and Kenny work with Um, Well, I also have to mention Bonnie's story. Uh, yes, Bonnie. Our other uh, co-choreographers. Co and um, Chucky, Chucky was actually my final line of defense for booking my role, uh, because after all those all that audition process, working with Chucky was my final um, audition. I mean, the job, so I, have, I do have to thank Chucky uh, for, for yeah, um, and and but I mean, it, 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 incredible. And all same thing, you know, same thing. You look at Chucky now. I mean, he's he's off touring the world with the Rolling Stones. Uh, he's been getting choreographs for them. No big deal. Uh, and and just to think of, you know. Same thing. All of us were, were so young and, and still, you know, all of us had been doing it. All of us had, had been working, you know, for, for many years to, to, to do what we were doing. But this was such a, a breeding ground for, for growth and for really everyone showing what, what they're, they're, they're capable of. And it was the same thing with Chucky, I feel, uh, where he, his style... He's, he has such Michael Jackson influences, um, yeah. and be it in his choreography, and, and uh, I, I always was 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 such a fan of of, of MJ's work too, and his, especially his, his dancing. And so, um, you know, I, I always took to that style of choreography that, that Chucky was teaching. So uh, recently, the the series has some musical. The musical of the series came out. Have you been able to check it out? From those initial two episodes, and also from meeting them prior to that, I was very nervous. Um, just because you know, it's it's it is something that's dear to my heart, and it is something that you know I feel like we we have we encapsulated whatever whatever it is that we captured, and 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 then to sort of reopen up that box and and to bring in new players uh, to try and forward that. Uh, it's it's always a very um, it's a tightrope walk, uh, and 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 more often than not, does not work out. Uh, right. So I was very nervous, um, and having met them and seen them, they are so ridiculously talented, uh, yeah. and they also really just they are the same. It's the quintessential hard workers. Uh, I was. Yeah. I was very happy to see that in, in, in the young people, to, to see this young group of performers that uh, weren't just, they, there wasn't an entitlement, there wasn't a feeling of, you know, we're, we're badass and we're going we're gonna to do this. They, they wanted to uphold it and, and, and they have the chops to do it. Uh, so I was, I was pleasantly surprised and, uh, and just really relieved off of how sweet they are. They're a really, really kind. If there was any other uh, movie or a TV series from Disney Channel at the time, High School Musical was had in which you could have played, uh, which one would it be? I I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's funny. I I uh, as far like all those shows that we just mentioned, I I didn't I didn't watch them myself. I didn't actually grow up watching them. 
but if I'm honest, I've always been, I've always been uh, an animation fan, uh, and still to this day, like I love an- I love Japanese anime, and, and I, I'm I'm such a nerd for all that. And so, um, so b- because I also liked animation a lot, I actually tend to tended to watch Nickelodeon more, just because I loved watching like Rugrats, <laughs> all like Rugrats, and I like Hey Arnold. And, and like Angry Beavers and like all 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 of those shows that were on at that time. So um, I, yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't really know what position to, to put myself in. And that's not like a dig at Disney whatsoever. Um, I would have had to be. If I would I would love to have been like a Hey Arnold character, especially oh, yeah. I'm from uh, I'm originally from Brooklyn, and, and even just like the metropolitan feel that that, sh- that show had. And they were. It was so real too. Like the situation that they got into was so real. <laughs> like it was, it was so. It was really good. Um, <laughs> next question: um, What was the hardest scene to shoot for High School Musical? The second scene, the finale scene, uh, where we're all freezing outside, and we were at the resort, and we were right near where the pool was and there was a wind that was blowing so there was like we, we were not only was it freezing but there was also like kind of like water droplets that were, were continuing to yeah. blow out. and um because it was supposed to be summertime we were all in shorts so to say it, it wasn't it wasn't that it was the hardest one um but it was one of the scariest ones and it was actually the very first scene where yeah and it was that moment um, because we had just started shooting, and both Mo and I were were so self conscious and so terrified. And I just remember we did like two or three takes of it, and Kenny was like, "Got it, great." <laughs> and, you know, we, I, I don't think it was really that good. And, he, and Kenny was like, "No, it was great. We got it." And and both Mo and I just walked away, just kind of like terrified and not feeling like we could. And a lot of that technicality is is Kenny Ortega. You know, he he has these All of it. He has these ideas. Uh, that just come off the top of the head, and and they just have to be done. Like it doesn't matter yeah. how you're gonna get it done, just get it done. And and they're brilliant. I mean, they're they're for instance that shot. You know, he just knew he wanted this overhead shot of this perfect circle of us going around. And and there are so many of those moments throughout the movie where you know, like the I think it's the, the opening of the or the beginning of the second movie where this like um wave you see you see like oh wave. yeah. And you see, uh, like, doing this, this dance, and, and uh, that started from, like, you were doing this massage train or something like that, and he decided to, like, yeah, you go, there, you go, and, like, and he just, it just turns to this thing. Um, but all those technical aspects that he just, these, these, these visuals that he, that he comes up with, um, a lot of them are very, very technical, and, and um, to, you, you, you just gotta, you just gotta make them work. And, and, and again, I feel like that it was such a, a, an amazing training ground. Do you have any memories from the Disney Channel games? And did you discover anyone that you didn't know from Disney? Wow. Uh, I mean, the Disney Channel games, I, I think I talked about this yesterday with Sam, too. I, I, it was my very first time going to Disney World. Uh, and, and first of all, there's an entire secret world, Disney World, uh, that uh, we all became you uh, and there are like these there are like underground passages oh, yeah. there are like secret ways to get on certain rides and because you had all of these Disney Channel stars that were there and they didn't want to like cause so much commotion at the park they would like back, back routes uh, and it was just like this whole secret society of, of Disney World that all of a sudden we discovered um, but also that was I think the Disney Channel games was, was really cool because it Realized how there were international Disney Channel stars. You know, there were there were shows that I had. There were there were you know French actors that I had I, I got to meet and and I I on shows that I never had heard of because it, they're, they're they're not in English and I'm like it's not something nothing that I've ever watched before. And, and it's the same. It was there were there were German Disney Channel stars and there were Italian Disney Channel stars. There was just all these. From all these different shows, it was such a, 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 a it was such a cool idea just to bring all these different walks of life um, to, for the sake of sport. <laughs>